Jesus explains, intense attacks and suffering, call on me in your need, and the series The Chosen, February 10th, 2023, words from Jesus through Sister Claire, spoken by Pascal. Claire began, The Lord bless you, heart dwellers. If you are having unusual situations and suffering right now, well, that is right in line with what the Lord is doing. For us, my dear husband is going through some very rough waters with medication adjustments and attacks against his mind that seems to have been in another reality, highly agitated and confused. We are trying to get things balanced out, but it is not an easy process. I have never experienced anything quite like this, nor has the community, but it is beautiful to see the Lord bringing us through it all and how we work together so well. We certainly are getting an education in how the enemy works against us. Oh Lord, what can I say other than that I am overwhelmed by his suffering? And you know I am allowing this for my purposes. It will end when I end it. Do not fret. Just take care of every situation as it comes up. But do not fret or fail in faith that I am fully capable of resolving this issue my way. It does take a bit of patience on your part, but I am giving you all the grace to walk through this storm unscathed. Your enemies are hell-bent on destroying you, but they do not seem to recognize that it is not you they are fighting. Beloved spouse, be at peace. I am handing this, and you are doing the right thing. So please, do not brood over various solutions. Commit to the path I have set your feet upon, and trust me. Thank you, Lord. That is so good to hear. I am giving you strength, and watching out for him as well. So, you have nothing to fear. Things are going as planned. No, I do not conjure up the evil and the harm being done. The devils do, but I will expose the impotence of those who doubt my existence. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, whether they believe that I am living or not. Please be at peace and trust as much as you can as we walk through this fire together. You are making progress. Stand tall and refuse doubts of all kinds. What else is on your heart, Lord? I like it when you watch the series, The Chosen. My character is very accurately portrayed, and it does help your faith. There is a tremendous anointing on that series, and it is very timely. I like it when you refer people to it, and by the way, thank you for supporting them. They are making great inroads into the religiosity that has turned people away from me for centuries. I like the way they portray Mary. That too is by design. Dallas has broken the mold that most producers have created in choosing a classic Peter, Mary and Judas. He has jarred people out of their stereotypes that tend to make for boring characters. His characters are truly three-dimensional, catching people off guard who are used to the same old archetype and pricking their curiosity. Yes, I noticed that. When introduced to a character that does not seem like a Mary type to me, it really causes me to stop and think differently. And I realize there is a lot of different things being portrayed, and these characters that have never been portrayed before.
there are many wonderful dimensions to the series, and it is like a giant bulldozer destroying people's cast in concrete preconceived conception of what it was like in those days, and how I really related to people with love and great affection. Yes, I am very pleased, but do not be fooled, they have to fight many spiritual battles. So, what I'm saying is, I like you to watch this series, and it is helpful to everyone. Claire, do not be afraid. We will conquer this situation in flying colors. Trust me, beloved. All over the world, right now, I am stretching the faith of my people, breaking stereotypes, canned religion and responses, to be free to move with the Holy Spirit in a fresh and relevant new way that is greatly needed. All of my people are being thrown out of their comfort zones to stretch and grow and handle more than they have ever handled before. It is a bit unnerving and scary, but I am with each of you to reassure you that this is me. Please trust me. I am also giving you the strength and skills to get through this, all of you. So draw on me more and more. Do not let a second of need go by without calling me to intervene and supply what is needed. He lifted my chin just then and said very gently, I am here and we are doing this together, drawing closer to one another in situations that you may be unfamiliar with. This is helping us to operate in seamless cooperation with my spirit. Do not be afraid. Continue to expect a miracle.